Hello and welcome fans and friends, my name is 8 Ben, and today I want to talk about how to connect both Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers for a program called Dolphin. Now, as far as I know, these may work in other programs, but Dolphin is the most interesting to me, So, uh, and also probably the one that people look for the most when it comes to using the Joy-Cons on the, on the computer, because uh, why not try to use these things with an emulator like Dolphin so that you can play GameCube games and see how those turn out with the Joy-Cons. Now, of course, it's not perfect uh, translation as the Joy-Cons do not have analog uh, inputs, basically. They only have digital inputs, and so you'll have to apply the analog inputs to a separate button. Um, and there's also another problem that I want to show you, but first off, you need to make sure that both your Joy-Con L and your Joy-Con R are synced up with the Bluetooth. It could be any Bluetooth as far as I know, but I suggest getting one of the newer ones that are backwards from compatible. Um, as I as I have one, I'm not going to mention what it is just in case. But uh, basically, those are both connected, and they show up as those names automatically, which is cool. So we go to Dolphin here, and we go to the controllers. It needs to be a standard controller because it looks at the Joy Cons as uh, an Xbox 360 controller, basically uh, two separate controllers actually. So we go to the configure and. Here we have Dinput Zero Wireless Gamepad, which is the left Joy-Con. Now, what will happen is you'll be able to automatically um, configure the left Joy-Con with uh, the left uh, analog stick if that's what you're wanting to do. But the thing is, whenever you go to do uh, the right stick controls or the right hand side of a controller, what you'll need to do is actually right click on uh, the button there and you go to then put one wireless gamepad and pre uh, obviously this will be clear um, detect uh, the button so basically what we'll want to do is tell it to read the Joy-Con uh, right analog stick uh, as an up uh, detection so there you go that's the button that is up and you select that and you press OK and that's how to assign the buttons properly now you may have noticed that there is no full analog control with the Joy-Cons. I'm not sure why that is, but the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller doesn't have the same problem. So, in my next video is going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, which is much more compatible with Dolphin than this one is. But I'm going to show off some gameplay of what uh, the game controls like with the Joy-Cons, basically. So, hopefully you'll be able to set up for yourself. If not, Ask me if you have any problems, it hopefully isn't too difficult for you to uh, learn. Uh, so we're going to go into the game here and I'll show you what it's like for the controller. Mario. So Mario won't be able to do a slow run, basically. Sorry, I'll just mute that just in case you're hearing that. Um, Mario won't be able to do a slow run, he'll only be able to dash because there is no analog control. Analog means that you can basically incrementally move forward and control the character more accurately but uh, it's more like using a SNES controller basically um, at, at least that's the way they read it and uh, every other button works fine on the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers but the sticks basically um, and it's not a huge problem but certain games do really require you to have analog control even the N64 controller require that you have it uh, for games like Super Mario 64 so uh, I hope you understand it's not my fault that they don't work uh, this is the same problem for everyone uh, so thanks for watching the video guys if you find this ho uh, helpful please let me, on the co uh, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe but only do that if you want to.